I just couldn't stop myself. We need to do this one again. We just need to do it bigger. And that all starts with finding the proper beginning. If I don't find something extremely useful or right from the start, I'm restarting until I do. Six rocks might tempt me, but a gold axe will tempt me more. But since there's not actually anything else, I want a pickaxe, not an axe. If this is a start I might accept because I found all of this stuff right away, including steel armor, and that was out of two cabins, and there's one more to search over there. I did also mean to play on easy mode this time, but I'm pretty sure I left it back on normal. Anyways, this cabin comes with a free chest and a crafting table, so we're probably going to start here, and there's already a good one. Permanently increased max HP on kill, and that was the very first power up I got. So all I'm going to need are some rocks and a bit of wood and we'll be able to get started. Wasted a bit of time wandering around, but we're way ahead of where we were before. Okay, so now I can make an anvil, which I maybe don't want to place here now that I think about it, but I also need an axe. Yeah, this is too far from anything. I'm going to go find a better spot to set up base. And it's nighttime, so we get the first wave of idiots. I'm going to try and kill them and the rock if I can at the same time. My armor should be enough to kind of help me through this. If not, my incredible skills naturally will. And I just realized since I already have a steel pickaxe, I should be mining mithril. My health is already up to 107 after murdering all the idiots. Here's another free chest. This is going to give me extra shield capacity, which basically means more health. And if I don't fi start finding some mithril very quick, I'm going to lose my entire head start because I'm wasting time by not smelting. But I'm sure there's some of it out there somewhere. We'll settle for some gold for now and then go pick up two free chests. We got a little bit more shield capacity and jetpack to the moon but we did not find some mithril am i looking right past it somewhere i feel like it just doesn't exist anymore okay i maybe found some of it we can even mine two at once to make up for my stupidity the first thing i'm probably going to make should be a mithril pickaxe to make this process a little quicker yep because that is actually really really slow but i'm going to set up a little station right here so i can start smelting through this night at least that looks something like that we have 34 coal so we're going to start on the mithril so that's just as the second night is falling so we're definitely ahead of schedule though i would have liked to be further ahead by now plus i actually still don't even have so much as a basic axe so that's probably gonna hurt me i'm already up to 137 health though so that's kind of optimistic uh we could definitely make a gold axe for now which is kind of stupid but i might do that pretty soon okay after thinking about that for one second longer i realized steel axe is basically the same as gold as you guys were kind enough to point out to me so now to make me throw we need fur we need to find fur stuff very quickly uh but i'm gonna do exactly what i said i wasn't gonna do and i'm gonna make a sword first because i like to murder things the furnace is still smelting so all we need to do is find some fur and also remember where we are currently and also open this chest because i have the money for it we got a double jump which is actually pretty helpful for the big boss so we're right here on the map for our base there's a little cabin just over over the hill and some chests and some fir trees over there i'm going to be greedy and check the chests first which actually has some birch wood in it these three chests didn't have a ton but they did have some food and food is another thing i need to remember to actually take did i check those cabins on the lake yet gonna take one more fir tree for now because the wood isn't actually that far away from me now by the time i'm back night is falling but this should be ready for my uh needs more mithril but that's okay i can mine some real quick and get it going again but maybe i'll make some armor first to help deal with the idiots in the night we at least have enough for that stuff so it's night number three and i'm like halfway geared with mithril so we're on pace to get the adamantite hopefully by tomorrow night and tomorrow i might chase some of the power-ups because i got the mithril sword anyways and the more things i kill the more health i'm gonna have anyway so that's just to my advantage okay didn't realize there was three of these guys they're actually doing a lot of damage when they do hit me i really need to remember in this game to not really let my guard down because things can look like they're super easy then suddenly you're dead very quickly there's probably also some form of healing that i haven't really discovered yet because i haven't bothered to cook anything but I'll get to that eventually. Eating an apple pie definitely just healed me quite a bit. So I need to keep an eye on healing stuff. Okay, now to see if I can finish these guys off without taking any further damage. Usually you can just circle them, but when there's two of them, it makes it a little bit harder to do much of anything. That's one of them dead. I should be able to... Yep, we're good. Next, the methyl pickaxe, which is going to help me a lot. Then I'm going to make a chest to store all the extra crap I don't need right now. Then I'm going to take this methyl pickaxe to start mining the adamantite right away. And there's two I can mine at once right here. And then after this, I think I'm actually going to go open some of the 25 gold chests because I need some health regeneration. It's no fun sitting at 70 health when you have 150 of it. But I also need to start smelting this ore right away. Not really sure what I'm going to make out of it, but I've got enough to smelt for quite a while. And we're also going to open this while we wait that looks like health regeneration so that's awesome let's put that in there and then finally start regenerating health then i'm going to open a few more little ones that's not s well that's somewhat handy to me this one is going to be increased max hp so at least now i'm healing 
just at any old time. When I was fighting those last guys, I wasn't getting health back, and that was a little bit stressful. Just broke another node, got a full 14 ore from that. So we're going to take whatever we got so far, only 5, but put that in there. We're going to need more coal. We can make an adamante pickaxe, but I'm not really sure what that's going to be used for. We need oak. So I think we're probably going to need a better axe, so we're going to make one of these. So we need to find an oak tree, and that's something I could maybe do tonight as long as I don't get lost. But I'll maybe head up towards the center of the island. While opening a few chests along the way, that's a good one. Lifesteal. So now doing damage will heal us, and we're going to start to do quite a bit of damage, hopefully before too long. This one's going to give us extra stamina, which is also pretty good. But now I can heal by hurting things, and that's my favorite thing to do. I need to remember that I'm looking for oak trees, which are actually these big ones right here. So that's handy. Just going to take a little while to cut them down. And I'm being hunted by these idiots, so we'll see. It's so much easier though when I know I'm healing, and I have lots of health. Yeah, I basically just tanked right on through these guys. No problem. Okay, now to finish off these trees, then go make some better tools. Just not really sure how much oak it is I'm going to need. Also gonna need more coal, and I really don't know the best place to find coal. I feel like it gets very hard to find at some point. And what do we get for... I'm feeling lucky, time to hog all the loot. I think that might actually increase our drop rate for loot, or like the amount of things we get. Since I'm right here, I'm actually gonna... Uh, oh, this was a stupid one. These guys are gonna take a long time to kill. They're very slow though, so we have that on our side. Ow. I've got time if you guys do. As long as I keep circling them like an oval, they don't really seem to be able to do very much damage at all. And for our effort, we got orange juice, which gives us more attack speed, and I'll take that. There's way too many distractions for me. I was finally heading back to start smelting, which I really need to do, and then I saw a gold chest because I realized I have the money to open a gold chest. At least I think I do if it's 200... And... We're close to opening a gold chest. And then I got distracted because I saw this cart full of free loot, and it's probably not going to be anything worth my while at this point. But I can't help myself right now. So for now, to appease myself, I'm going to open one of these and take a red pill. Now that it's all the way into nighttime, I'm going to put more coal in here and then let that do its thing while these guys hopefully don't destroy it all. Can you guys get out of my base, please? I don't want you breaking everything while we're here. This might sound kind of dumb, but I'm going to start with an adamantite pickaxe. We'll make a sword if we can, but we need more bars for that, which we have right here. So we're going to make a sword real quick to help fight the enemies with a little extra damage. Now that was 33, I think on a critical hit and we don't have any power-ups yet. So that's going to get pretty good. Yeah, this is much better. We're doing way more damage to those guys. And I finally have the money to open a gold chest, but for now we need more adamantite. And the reason I wanted a better pickaxe was so that I could mine adamantite quicker and break rocks and get coal quicker. Because we should be able to break both of these at the same... Well, whatever. This is how fast we mine iron now. Shouldn't really be wasting my time on iron now that I think about it. We should be mining gold as a surplus because we can at least turn that into gold coins. But we have lots of adamantite right now, so I'll probably just turn that into armor because I don't really know what else I would do with it. So we'll make some legs and some boots for now. Well, also also make ourselves a helmet. Now we've got lots of armor to work with and I think for the rest of the day I'm mostly going to go try and grind power-ups as much as I can. Okay gold chest 321 we got the lightning thing. Now we're going to kill some cows very easily just for the extra health. Then we're going to summon hopefully nothing too strong. This is perfect. These guys will die super quick and give me health and loot. And lots of coins. I always forget that they also give coins. Ooh, that looks good. Increased damage dealt to resources. That's very good. So that's maybe going to be mostly my strategy overall from now uh, is to hit electric hits on those but Summon monsters, take their loot, take the coin so I can get more health regen and all sorts of power-ups. I want to get every chest on this island. During the day tomorrow, I'm maybe going to get started on a bow and arrow and some healing type stuff. But for now, we're going to go find a fight. It's already time for Big Chunk. Didn't realize we were there already. Well, I've got slightly better armor, so we'll see how this is going to go. Because I know I could do some... Yeah, I'm doing big hits to him. Fighting everything at once might be a bad idea, but we are also healing ourselves. Yeah, so far he's actually dying like very quickly, so that was way too easy. Oh, and we got the chunky M too, so now we're going to get even better armor. All right, well, I'm not going to lie to you. That's giving me way too much confidence. So yeah, we're going to go open some more chests and find some more things to fight. Feeling lucky. Ooh, what is this one? A horseshoe. Increased chance to hit a critical strike. I do like that one. Just ask these cows. Day six and double critical strike against this guy. I think we killed him in four hits, which isn't bad at all. Now, what's going to screw me up more than anything is potentially spawning three big chunks out of one of these, as we learned last time. But hopefully we won't get that unlucky. We'll just get lots of these things, because these guys die super easy now. And we get another one of these for our effort. Increased damage dealt to resources. So we'll be able to mine things even quicker. Should probably head back to base and start actually making some stuff and storing some stuff. Before we do, we're going to get distracted. Falling below 30% boosts your stats. There's another lifesteal. I feel like I just want to stack mostly lifesteal at this point. There's more stamina. 
Uh, I need to go back and set up healing too. I don't really have a lot of food. There's movement speed, which is very nice for me. Then we're going to smelt the chunky ore right away. And then we need to make a crafting uh, food station right here so we can put some of the meat in there. Then I also wanted to make a fletching station so I could hopefully make a bow and arrow of some kind. Uh, oak bow sounds pretty powerful to me. We're going to put that there and then hopefully some kind of great arrows. Adamantite arrow. Uh, we'll probably do mithril for now because mithril is something I don't really need as much of. And then a whole bunch of regular arrows. Then I'm going to store a whole bunch of stuff in the chest just to get it out of my way. Then while I'm waiting for stuff to smelt, I'm going to open a few more chests and do a few more challenges because I need all that gold and good stuff. Please don't be the big ones. Yes, we're getting very lucky with these so far because these guys are way weak. And for our effort, we got a piggy bank, but also like a hundred and something goal. Well, we're up to 250 health. I'm not seeing as many of those little challenge stones as I would like. There's one over there we're going to try and do before nightfall in one hour. But I think we're not going to get another big chunk for another night or two. And as long as I don't get one of those, I can manage with these guys quite easily at this point. There's just always something to be doing in this game. I'm going to use my basic arrow on these because I don't need to use anything better. I can just slowly circle and take them out. Then we'll get big chunk armor hopefully after today and then we should be more suited to fighting everything. In theory if you had enough arrows you could just slowly do big circles like this walking backwards and probably fight most of anything. Might waste a bit of the daylight today finishing off this mass of idiots, but that's okay. I've got time if they do. Also, let's see what we can do about this flying guy, because he probably also hits really hard. Okay, let's just go for it now, because we need to start getting rid of these guys quick. And our sword does pretty good damage with all the, you know, potential crits and perks and power-ups, so... Should be able to mostly just circle around them, keeping an eye on our health. And they're all dead, there's my reward for that. I don't know if the I'm Feeling Lucky just gets us, like, better quality of loot overall, or if we get more, like the physical number of resources but i'll take things like that increase damage dealt to resources i really need to keep breaking things so i can get uh mostly coal which i'm not picking up right now okay we're gonna take our chunkium that we have so far hopefully make some armor out of that put some coal in there no we definitely need better chest armor and then is there anything else we can make out of that it looks like just armor at least for now so i'll make a helmet so my guy's looking pretty good we have 49 armor not really sure how that translates but i'm sure it's very helpful then i think i'm gonna make some more arrows if i can i guess i might as well make adamantite arrows because i'm not really gonna use adamantite anymore there's 32 because i made it out of oak as well but that's gonna be for you know big boy damage now for now oh we need to pick up our food as well i just realized i did that wrong i put the fuel in the wrong spot so we don't have as much food as I'd hoped yet. But we've got one hour until nightfall, so I'll be able to make do with whatever I have now. And now, while stuff is smelting, I'm gonna go get some more health regen, kill some cows, get some meat, do everything I can, hammer resources. At this point, I'm basically just making myself as powerful as possible without any real strategy as to how. These guys are starting to spawn just regularly. These aren't the special ones, but they're still gonna do quite a bit of damage. Yeah, one of my power-ups definitely gets me a lot of coins, because I just killed a basic enemy and he gave me 22 coins, which is not what I would normally be getting. But now I can open... No, I can't. 392. Inflation much? That's okay, because we'll just keep saving up because we can. And I'm going to kill some more cows. Because I can. I'm also a little concerned, because that night was strangely easy. I felt like there was only four enemies, so I feel like tonight might be stronger. So I'm going to go back to my base and regroup a little bit, preparing for tonight. All of our... Uh, chunkium ore is done so we're gonna make whatever we can out of that which is boots so we don't yet have a full set but it's pretty close so we're gonna be pretty tough right now so we'll just make some more regular arrows just because it can't hurt to have some of these around and we just have a lot of wood anyway and for the strongest of arrows we need oak wood so we're gonna go cut down some oak trees and we're doing pretty pretty big damage to oak trees these days so it's actually pretty easy to gather oak wood for once i don't know if trees regrow but i just got the fun idea to try and cut down every tree on the island I'm probably not going to do that now, not unless I get my movement speed way up. And this isn't even an adamantite axe. Speak of adamantite, it's still pretty strong to try and break, but it's much quicker than it was. Wouldn't mind some coal, though. We can mine gold in two hits, and we got some coal out of that. Anyways, the real treasure is probably going to come from here, provided I don't get anything too strong. Okay, I got one of them dead, one of them very hurt, so I'm going to move in with my sword. We got health regeneration, which is one of the strongest things. You get enough stacks of that. As long as they're not capped, you should be more or less invincible. We got one hour till nightfall, so we're gonna try and kill these extra quick. Maybe I should be jumping more. That's probably very helpful to dodge a lot of things. And occasionally we get perks where we do more damage while falling, but we forget about those. The jumping strategy actually seems to be better than the circling strategy for these guys. 
Okay, we gotta kill this one quick though because he's gonna do more damage than anything else tonight. And our reward for that, ooh, that's another good one. Even more damage to resources. Even these little clusters of enemies now, I can mostly just tank right on through. Plus, the more I kill, the stronger I get. I'm just gonna sit here and tank right on through these. This guy's got the same strategy, which is stupid because he's not quite as strong as me. Okay, guys, good fight. And a sniper scope, small chance on hit to deal chunky damage. I like that because that's like a super critical hit. It's gonna be hard to see those in the, uh, depth of battle but at least we'll be able to hit things for massive damage once in a while and if that stacks on bows and arrows that's going to be huge and let's test our resource damage now well yep there's a hit for 420 we broke adamantite in four hits and we're going to get a double chance to do chunky damage now so that's pretty good oh hello uh for these guys i'm maybe going to switch arrows to mithril just because i don't have a lot of jumping capacity right now and it would take a long time to jump and hit these guys i'd rather just kill them quickly and as long as i'm moving and shooting them with the bow and arrow they don't really seem to be much threat. Okay, we're already out of those arrows, so I'm gonna have to go home and make more arrows. I just dealed chunky damage to one of them. Uh, I don't know how, what the damage rate it was, but it took half its life off. And all right, it was over there. That looks like a yellow one. What does this one do? The lower HP, the more damage. I like that one. I'm gonna break another adamantite on the way back to home. Definitely just trying to be extra prepared uh because i know we're gonna need adamantite arrows at some point plus the coal we just need lots of coal and the start of nightfall but since we're stronger than ever before we shouldn't have much problem killing pretty much anything with our life still and damage we're good these guys are always going to be a priority for me as soon as i see them they need to die that was chunky damage i didn't see the readout but someone out there might have starting to appreciate why you can have extra jump perks now because when things are that high up, they're super annoying to try and kill. Didn't get everything, well, we did chunky damage to that one. Didn't get everything killed by morning, but almost. So let's get some more meat started. Almost did that again. And we're going to smelt, uh, we got 20 of those for arrows. We got lots of oak, so we're probably just going to do adamantite for now. So maybe while I'm here, I'm going to make an adamantite axe just to kind of complete the set. And speaking of which, how do we make an adamantite bow? I guess oak is probably the best because that's the best wood. But we're also going to make adamantite arrows now because what else would we spend all our stuff on? There's 140 plus 30. Uh, same thing with regular arrows, just because it's going to be hard to come back and make these at some point. We're out of flint, so yeah that's gonna work. I guess I could smell gold into coins, but at this point I'm really just wandering around trying to power myself up as much as possible. And now that we are, we're probably gonna go straight north because I don't think we've gone that way a lot. And if we can break these gold nodes nice and fast, we might as well collect some gold ore along the way because we're gonna turn that into coins eventually, which opens all the chests on the islands. We're gonna stack up on gold ore pretty quick. We're getting 24 per stack or per rock right now, which is pretty ridiculous. Okay, it took like 10 seconds to mine all of this gold, so that's pretty fun. We're maybe gonna have to make a second smelter at some point as long as I have the coal to, you know, keep it going. And what do you have for me? 500. Deal bonus damage while falling. Yeah, that one's the one I forgot I had last time, which is cool, but it's hard to remember that in the heat of battle. Speaking of which, oh, oh, we got, hey, we get to ride the big chunk that time. Oh, it's a buff big chunk. Ah, I see. Are they stronger than me though? Okay, they're stronger than me. Back up. Okay, we're gonna switch to our adamantite arrows. And hopefully these can carry us through three of these guys while I do my best to avoid the massive damage they do to me. And it doesn't really show that... Uh, well, I guess I can see their health individually. He's at about half health already. So that actually healed us a lot too. Those guys are actually pretty low on health. I almost could tank right through them. Okay, they've got some reach. Actually, all their health is fairly low. That's interesting. Well, I'm just going to spam arrows at them for now. Which, and this will work just fine, provided it doesn't turn to nighttime and... I got some Chunkium ore, apparently. Oh, one of them died. They've got so much reach, it isn't fair. I gotta get over that Chunkium ore. I don't know if things despawn or not. I hit him with- Oh, I, <laughs> I killed him. Okay, uh, we're gonna drop some bark for this Chunkium, hopefully. Yeah, I got 44 Chunkium ore and $500 for that. Alright, we're just gonna go straight in and fight this guy. I think we can get away with this right now. Yeah, that's the kind of damage we like to see. Yeah, okay, these guys- This is a buff big chunk. Oh, there's a new- New one to spawn in, too? Oh, you're just a regular big chunk. You've got no chance. 2100 health? We'll drain that in no time. Uh, do also need to kill him before too many enemies come around me, though, because they will all swarm me and kill me. Okay, we're gonna back up for a bit because we're starting to lose control of the situation. And at least when our health gets low, we get that stat boost so we can run away very quickly and regroup. The knights are ge definitely getting a little more chaotic, but we're still okay. I should have these mostly wrapped up within a minute. Really gotta remember to go get the rest of the chunkium or hopefully it doesn't despawn or anything. Though I'm not even sure what I'd really use it for at this point. And we're just pretty much going to tank through these guys. I think I do need to make one more piece of armor out of Chunkium. 
which will make us even stronger. And we definitely need to be stronger at this point. There's the Chunkium we need. There we go, 48 times Chunkium, and we need that coal. Might as well open this while we're at it. More speed. So... Yeah, I guess I just keep collecting power-ups until we're so stupidly strong that, I don't know, the game breaks or something. And we might as well pretty much be opening any chest we go by at this point. But it might not be worth the time. We'll open a blue chest for extra frog jump. Which, yeah, is kind of nice. We can almost fly with that. Okay, so we're going to switch this over to uh, Chunkium Ore. And we're going to have a lot of that. We have some adamantite. We definitely ran out of coal. Uh, so next, we're probably going to make another furnace this one is pretty much going to be purely for gold i guess we're going to make another chest and put all the gold in the chest and we're going to go find some coal eventually then um i guess we'll just go back to farming things for their value basically coal and power-ups five thousand damage did i read that correctly ten thousand damage Wow, we're starting to do some big damage to things we don't need to be doing damage to. Just found another vampire mouth out of one of the chests, so that's kind of helpful. So I think we're getting now, yep, two, two extra health per kill. And I think from now on I'm going to open these whenever I can find extra damage to resources, which is weird because we're already doing so much damage. I smite the rock. The highest I've seen so far is 10,000 damage on a rock. That might seem like overkill, but that's because it is overkill. I didn't even notice it was nighttime again. At this point, between my armor and my, you know, vampire perks, I can pretty much just tank through these as long as I'm paying somewhat attention. And that's pretty good because these things do a lot of damage. Yeah, it's going to get hard quickly though, I can tell, because these guys with the skull above their heads, if I get like six of them, they could probably one-shot me. Then it's just this one lonely straggler. Goodbye, I'm not even going to pick up your gold. This is my island now. Okay, we accidentally summoned more of these. So I'm going to hopefully be able to tank through these fairly quickly because these guys combined with the knight I'm about to have is going to be trouble. Okay, let's run away. Very bravely. I wonder if the extra damage applies to bow and arrows too. We did just get big chunk damage on one of them. Okay, at this point, I'm going to head back towards base backwards because they're just going to forever chase me. So I'm going to fire arrows at them while moving backwards whenever I can. I think since one of them's dead, I'd probably be able to get away with just charging in there and fighting two of them up close. Gonna have to keep an eye on the health though. Maybe that was a bad idea. I'm just going to run back towards base for now. They'll eventually uh, come out in the open where I can hit them again. So while I'm here, I'm going to take the big chunk ore, which I really don't need anymore. We're going to start smelting that. I'm going to put a little bit of coal in this one for gold. Uh, and then while I'm here, I'm very quickly going to make the last armor piece I need. And I don't remember which one it is, so I can't do it yet. And this knight's going to be a little annoying because I still got these guys alive. Though I don't think they regenerate health, so they should almost be dead. This is more satisfying to me. And he's dead. These other enemies seem so weak now in comparison. Are these guys seriously sitting here destroying my stuff? We're going to turn all these gold bars into... Uh, that's not really worth it. 2100 coins. Okay, so we need more oak. Look at all of our chunkium. We've got two and a half stacks of it. Speaking of which, we need our pants to complete complete the whole Chunkium set. And where do you get a shield from? Anyways, I very simply need oak and coal and gold chests wherever I can find them. But the last oak tree I killed in two hits, not unlike that. So that's going to lead to a lot of good arrows for me. Starting to feel like things are a bit ridiculous because we're one-shotting pretty much all the trees and rocks. So we can still get more powerful. There's even more damage to resources. At this point, I probably realistically could break everything on the island because it wouldn't be that hard to do. Adamantate is probably the strongest of stuff, and that's as quick as it is to break. Regular trees don't stand a chance, and that's very satisfying. So going in tonight, to tonight we're going to be the strongest we've ever been because we have our full armor set, plus we have more health and everything, and I'm ready for tonight. All right, you stop breaking my stuff. Here's the morning of day whatever, and this is the lone enemy left for me to kill. Easy. So I'm just going to go around basically collecting all the chests and resources I can for now. Uh, just because I don't really know what else to do with my time right now. I'm actually kind of hoping this is a big chunk. Oh because nothing else is really posing much of a problem for me right now. Spent the past few minutes collecting a few more power-ups, so now we're even more powerful. And uh, yeah, this is basically all I'm doing is walking around destroying absolutely everything and make it look easy. So tonight the game is giving me a little bit more of a challenge by spawning big chunks, but they're just two of them and they're just regular kinds. I've already killed one of them. Uh, that was... Oh, maybe there are three of them. Okay, we killed two of them. Uh, all right, I guess we'll focus on this one then. And that one's dead too. I think we're getting overpowered. Oh, the game's going to keep spawning them though. It knows how strong I am. We're just going to walk right through them. We have 700 health anyway. Why wouldn't we? I just spawned another three buff big chunks, but I'm same thing. Just going to tank right through them because they haven't actually even hurt me yet. And I've already killed one of them. Uh, and to be fair, I think this one is caught in a tree. Okay. When I said I accidentally killed them at the beginning, I accidentally killed two of them. So I don't know if they even hurt me. 
this is dead. So unless there's some kind of stronger enemy in the game, I don't think anything really poses much of a threat to me at this point. But I'm pretty sure I do have over 100 power-ups by this point. I just killed a big chunk in two hits. Let's see if we can do the same for this. One, two, no, this one's gonna wait to have me spawn some damage. That's fine, I've got all day. 41,000? Did I read that correctly? 41,000 damage. That's definitely enough to one-shot anything in the game. Day 18, and... Well, we got big chunks to deal with. Okay, never mind. I got big chunk damage on both of them, so they're both dead very fast. I also have over 1,000 health right now, so combine that with my armor, and I'm feeling pretty unstoppable. I was feeling pretty unstoppable half an hour ago. Now we're just getting to the point of ridiculousness. I could probably also jump way up into the sky to kind of see what's around. Not much. Because there's something wrong with me, I thought there might be something exciting to find in the sky, and so far, there's really not. And I fell off. That's okay. Hi there, friend. You're about to die. Also, I'm at the point where every creature I kill gives me an extra 6 health permanently. And as it turns out, I'm killing a lot of things every single day. 61,000 damage. There's 21,000 damage. 25,000 damage? It's what is killing the trees right now. I think it's day 19 and it's at least summoning buff big chunks for me to fight now. Uh, not that they're particularly a threat anymore, but they're at least a lot stronger than the regular big chunks. And with a 3200 uh, critical hit, he's dead. Oh, there's another one. Look how much damage they do to me. However will I survive? And with another big chunk hit, he's dead. I can actually just fly above the flying creatures now. I'm not sure if I caught that. I'm pretty sure that said 119,000 damage. That definitely just said 151,000 damage. So if I do a falling big chunk hit on a tree, 150,000 damage. Uh, it could potentially be higher, but I can only hit so many of these trees before I lose my mind. I just wanted to see how much damage I could do. And I'm actually one-shotting <laughs> a lot of these big chunks now, so that's pretty ridiculous. I didn't really see the damage readout, but I definitely did one-shot uh, at least two of those. But I don't really know where to go from here because I'm so strong now that nothing really even tries to hurt me, apparently. But I don't have to try. Like, nothing can hurt me. Uh, and I don't think there's anything stronger coming. I can sit here and tank through any damage and hit them with pretty much any weapon and they die. Plus I've explored, I presume, the entire island and picked up most of the loot and chests that I wanted. And it's day 21. So I don't think I'm going to find anything new or exciting within the next few days. I came to the conclusion that there must be another island somewhere out there. Uh, so far there's not and I've gone that far. But I figured because the map was so uh, big there has to be something else out here. Oh, so you basically just automatically die when you swim far enough. Got it. So that's what, you know, 200 power-ups looks like.